In this video, we're going to look at how we can graph points and specifically give the coordinate of a point. To do this, we need to set up some vocabulary. First, the coordinate plane is this entire picture over to the right. It's basically the intersection of two number lines. And these two number lines have a very specific name. The x-axis is an important one. That is the horizontal number line. X-axis, I'll label here. And it starts at the center with an x value of 0, and it counts up 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. And then as you would expect, the negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, off to the left. The y-axis, then, is the vertical number line. So I'll label this the y-axis, which also starts at the center at 0 and counts up as it goes up, 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you go down, we just have negative values, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And a very important spot on this coordinate plane is the origin, or the intersection, of the number lines, where x is equal to 0 on its number line, and y is equal to 0 on its number line. And that's right here in the middle. That's the origin. It's called the origin because all of our points originate from that center point. Other points are given as an address or as a coordinate point based on where they are in relationship to the origin. A coordinate point we're going to call the address of a point's location. And the way this address is given is always in parentheses with x, comma, y. In other words, we give the x value first, how far we go right on the number line, and the y value second, how far we go left on the number line. And if the values are negative, whoops, not left, sorry, right, and then up. If the values are negative, then we go the opposite directions, left and down. So, for example, if we were to look at these three points on the number line, and we wanted to give the coordinate point of A, B, and C, A, this first point, we always start from the origin, we would have to go right 4 and up 3. So the coordinate point or address of A would be 4, comma, 3. With point B, in parentheses, its address from the origin, we'd have to go left 3, which we represent with a negative number, and then up 1. So B would be negative 3, comma, 1. C, we go left and then down, so they're both negative numbers. Left 1, down 2, C is at the point negative 1, comma, negative 2. Just giving the address or movement from the center, going right first, up second. Let's take a look at another example. These first two points are rather interesting. Point E, from the origin, you see we go left 4, negative 4. But the second number is supposed to be the vertical change. How far up do we go? None. The number that represents none is 0, so we use 0 for the second number. How about f? f is just up 2. The first number is our left and right, though. There was no left and right movement, so that's going to be a 0. And then we went up 2 units. g is just a normal point, right 2, down 1, so it will be 2, comma, negative 1. Points are given as right, comma, up. <laughs> 